So hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will be showing you how can we create a logo svg animation with html css and javascript so first you need to create a folder in your desktop i'll be naming it as logo svg animation logo svg animation perfect after creating the folder you need to open your figma software or photoshop software so i'll be using figma software it's taking some time to open because my laptop is a bit slow So as you can see now my Figma software is opened, it's loading. Okay. So after that you need to create a background. Not with a rectangle. With frame. Select the desktop. And after that I will be creating an ellipse tool means a circle I'll be aligning it in the center of the page And then you need to ungroup the selection of the ellipse of the desktop. You will be seeing a desktop hashtag one. You need to ungroup it and click right click on the ellipse tool and outline the stroke. After that, you need to open the notepad. Minimize the notepad. Right click on the circle and copy it as SVG paste it in the notepad after pasting it in the notepad minimize it again select the ellipse tool go to add the stroke and make the stroke white perfect after that remove the fill and then again select the ellipse tool just a minute again select the ellipse tool right click on it copy it as svg and paste it all split paste it also in the notepad okay now our circle svg paths are been copied have been copied so now we'll be creating an m for our website it's a motivation website and we're creating a motivation logo for it that will be with SVG animation. So let's create an SM. Let's make its size a bit bigger. So 151. Align it in the middle of the ellipse tool, ellipse circle. Select it. Change the font. I will be using pop pins for it. Then select the text and outline the stroke. Just a minute. Then right click on a text and copy it as SVG. Open the notepad and paste it under this circle path. Then change the stroke to white. Same as we done in this ellipse tool. And remove the fill. Then again right click on the text, 
copy it as SVG, copy it as SVG and paste it in the notepad. So now we have pasted it. Now let's save the file. We'll be saving it as in desktop in the logo SVG animation folder. We'll be saving it as logo. Perfect. We saved the notepad file. Now let's refresh the computer. Now we'll be opening our code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code for the coding. Now after our code editor is opened, I'll be selecting the folder that is logo SVG animation and I will be creating a file known as index.html. It's taking some time to create the file. I'll be to I'll be totally creating three files: HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now I'll be creating the CSS file style.css. And the last one I'll be creating the JavaScript file logo.js. No. Test.js. Perfect. Now in the index.html file I will be using the short key for the HTML basic code that is shift plus one and I will be changing the title to the SVG logo or logo animation. Now I will be linking my CSS file link with style sheet. href style.css now our css file is linked with the html now i'll be linking my javascript file with html so i'll be using the script tag inside the script tag which taking some time no now inside the script tag i'll be creating a source inside the test.js now our javascript file is also been linked to the html now in the body section i will be commenting logo animation enter and then I will be pasting the ellipse tool the second path which I have pasted in the notepad select it copy it with a CTRL plus C and paste it CTRL plus V and I will be adding a ID after the SVG that is ID and the logo so after adding the logo as an ID our HTML part is finished now we'll be going to the CSS file and I will be using star normal CSS codings I'll be using padding that is 0 percentage margin that is also that is auto or we'll be using the zero percentage okay now a box sizing that will be border box and then I'll be using body square curl braces enter width will be hundred percentage and the height will be hundred percentage Now the background color will be black. Now let's go back to index and right click and open it with the live server. As you can see our ellipse tool is there with the black background up here. Now we'll be aligning it in the center in the middle of the web page. Let's go back to our code editor and now we will be using the ID logo. Oh sorry, wait a minute, we will be using the ID logo. 
with a hashtag and we'll be seeing its position absolute and top 50 percentage left 50 percentage and now we'll be checking it let's go back to our google chrome and now it's not aligned in middle so we'll be using transform translate translate minus 50 percentage comma minus 50 percentage now boom it's aligned in the middle of the web page now i'll be selecting our logo path with the hashtag and the nth minus child and it's the one because we are having only one ellipse inside that we'll be using so the path as you can see the logo path is defined in the index.html file which we have pasted after copying it as svg after copying the svg so we'll be using the stroke dash array and the stroke dash offset so now we'll be going to our javascript file before that okay now now we'll be going to the javascript file and inside that we will be creating a constant a variable that is log equals to document dot query selector all parenthesis string logo path semicolon now we'll be using for loop for parenthesis let i equal to zero semicolon then i is smaller than log dot length i plus plus <coughs> call braces enter console dot log parenthesis the back sticks will be using the back sticks and we'll be using letter for just defining it letter dollar symbol curl braces i space is just for defining it the dollar symbol curl braces inside the curl braces we will be using log the square brackets i semicolon at the end no no we'll be using i then the square brackets after that we'll be using dot get total length perfect parenthesis now i'll be entering the semicolon at the end of the console save it come to the google chrome right click and inspect go to the console or you, yeah you can see it down here the letter zero is 892 and after that you're getting some decimals you need to copy that text that numbers and paste it in the javascript file comment it so after pasting it copy the 892 that number and paste it in the stroke dash array and the stroke dash offset so let's paste it after pasting it we will be creating we will be going to our style.css file let's open the google chrome file and you will be seeing our ellipse tool ellipse circle is not seen because it's disappeared now i'll be creating a keyframes logo dash intro you can name it any you can name it as you want so i'm naming it as logo dash intro then let's go to two call braces stroke dash offset and now it's zero percentage after that go under the stroke dash offset and create an animation logo dash intro 1.4 second is dash in dash out 
four words. So after creating it, you can go back to your Google Chrome and you can see the LP2 is having an SVG animation. Perfect. Now we need a text also in a, as an SVG animation. So let's go back to the index.html file and now we'll be copying the we'll be commenting the M. So logo M animation. Now we'll be pasting the M SVG second path which we have copied it from the Figma. Let's copy it. CTRL plus C. Go back to the core editor and CTRL plus V paste it. Now I'll be changing its ID to logo. So after that, as you can see, now you're getting confused. Why I'm having you two paths and a child? Because I paused the video, I got some error and I solved it. So this is the same. I had just copied the M and just did as same I had done in the first ellipse tool. So let's go to the keyframes fill from fill transparent. This I'm using it to fill it its color inside the text. Fill it white. Okay. Now I'll be showing you. As you can see, I have just created the logo path NTA child one. You know, inside that, after the forwards, I'll be adding fill 0 0.5 second linear forwards 0 0.4 seconds. Same, I will be copying it up from here and I'll be pasting it in the second path child forwards, comma. So, now as you can see, the logo path child 2. I have said you that I have post and I did see what I had done in the first path NTA child. I just pasted the M animation copied by the Figma and same I have done what I had done in the first path for the ellipse tool. Same animation I have created. As you can see the ID is the logo and test JavaScript I wrote the same constant log and created the second number which I got it as you can see I'll be inspecting it and I'm getting two letters letter 0 is for the ellipse and letter 1 is for the text so after that I have just pasted inside the text stroke dash array and the stroke dash offset same that I have done in the ellipse tool ellipse circle let's go back to the google chrome let's load as you can see our svg logo animation is working fine perfect as you can see it's working fine so it's too fast so we'll be changing it to 1.1 second and this one 1.1 second perfect let's check it so again it's a bit fast let's change the circle No, it's perfect. I think so. The timing is perfect. Okay, so our logo SVG animation is created perfectly.